Thursday from Britain and John Barrowman. Thank you. I'm here with the lovely Julie Walters. And later on, our bedtime story, the story of the Frog Prince. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Yes. Absolutely. You've got your motivation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 I think so. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, 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 I'm very there. anxious. It's like the first night at the National. <laughs> no, no, I'm coming, I'm coming. Right, it's time now for my next guest. Bert, it's very strict tonight, Julie. Yes, oh. She's a best selling author and an award winning actress. She made her big screen debut in a fabulous movie called Up the Junction. You've seen it? Oh, yes. I love it. And yeah. since then, has triumphed on stage. The big screen, the small screen, the wireless, you name it, she's done it. She's been writing bestsellers for years. A new book is called Past It Notes. And she's back on stage at the Chocolate Factory in a little night music. Will you please welcome Miss Maureen Lipman? Let me hear you. Come on. Big mouth. Big mouth. You look fabulous in that. Very It's gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. I thought I'd just brighten the set up a oh, bit. Oh, Maureen, very glam. Yeah. <laughs> She You're very gorgeous. welcome. How are you? Thank you. I'm very well, thank you. I've done the same with yours. Well, I'm going to be really honest, seriously. I've got, I'll tell you it, about that much there. And that's, I've, that's about two stories, Paul. And I've folded <laughs> it. No, I want it for me holidays. Yes. But seriously, because I go on holiday and I've got nothing to read but the hotel menu and the facilities, and now I've got two fabulous books. He's going oh. to the Maldives, and I've told him it's going underwater. It is. But don't worry, Chuck, because you've got two books you can hang on to. Maureen Lippman and Julie Walters have saved my life. Yeah. <laughs> I hung up. Now, how's the previews going at the Chocolate Factory? Uh, well, the, the, the first preview we did without a dress rehearsal. Oh, oh my. God. And the first act came down at ten past ten. However, we're. Uh, we're, we're are you yawning? No, oh, I went. sorry. <laughs> No, no, I pulled it back out when you said, that was the thought of the first act coming down at ten past ten. <laughs> what time did the... they said, they said, oh, everybody's having a low energy day today, they said. So I thought, oh, I'll go and perk him up with my bright coat. I never have a low energy day. <laughs> Take notes of that lot in there. They don't know what hard work is. <laughs> and then I thought, you know, is it obligatory to be over 50 with glasses? <laughs> 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 and a Catholic mother, because I better go with that. <laughs> Not like an advert for best specs, three of us. <laughs> three, four. Yeah. Who are you playing in a little night music? I'm playing old M Madame Armfelt. I'm in a wheelchair. So You're too young. Thank you, Paul. There's no, just a split young. second of pause before you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I'm wheeled on and off, which is great because I have no idea where I'm coming from. I, ca I came into this three weeks after everyone else had started rehearsing. Oh, no. So, because I was doing a sitcom with Annie Reid, who you had on the programme. That's program right. Lady of Letters is this. Ladies yeah. of Letters, oh, which was a terrifying experience because um, only two of us there and we never meet. Oh, so, great. you're being filmed. I feel funny turning to you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I sit more like It's like I've got some sort of complaint. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm feeling snubbed. <laughs> yes, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What did you ask me? <laughs> <laughs> we were in a film together. We were. Well, I'd had a cameo in your film, put it that way. Oh. What it, was this? We educating got... Reed? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 In Don't, wouldn't you just die without Marley? Yes, that's right. That's, yeah. Yeah. that's right, the flatmate. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's uh, <laughs> Anyway, it's just... <laughs> yes. anyway. this. You forget you're on the telly and you, you know, yeah. we're in the kitchen. Oh, anyway, yeah. this book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, go on, what? We were halfway through what happened with, the, with uh, Little Night Music. Oh, okay, so now it's, you know, then Sunday, we, we have a matinee on a Sunday. We're playing at this place called the Chocolate Factory, the Many Years Chocolate Factory, which kind of means many a slip, twixt, cup and cue at the, at the moment. Um, and uh, it's getting better, it's getting faster. It's a beautiful show. Have you ever done Sondheim? No. No. Me I love neither. It, but, but it's hard, yeah. isn't it, those it's, tricky lyrics? It's did it, did it, did it, fantastic did it. lyrics. Mm. It's so beautiful. And, and all young people. And me. Fabulous. Yeah. Well, we should be to see that. And yeah. then it'll be transferred into the West End. Well, I, I don't know about that. I think, you never well, know. Well, everything does, it. doesn't it? That goes The there. West End could yeah. do with a musical, couldn't it? Of course. <laughs> just the odd. Just the odd one, Maureen, for a change. You know, a nice <laughs> a new revival. <laughs> now, the book. The book. 
How long did it take? Look at this. I mean, you know, yes. that's scary, well, isn't that it? that is a long It's a big yeah. book, but it's, it's not big. really my autobiography as yours. You, people don't know what happened in your life, and they're thrilled to hear it. Everybody knows everything that happened in mine, because I've been blub blubbing about it for years. Yeah, One book after needs. another. Yeah. Yeah. And they're not really, um, it's not really completely autobiographical. They're just the way I look at life, really. Yeah, and yeah. Jack would always say to me, how is it that I go out for a bag of sugar and I come back with a bag of sugar? You go out for a bag of sugar and you come back with a three-act play. <laughs> <laughs> so all my stories are in there. And I, I don't know, that now I look at the book and I think there's another thousand that I could have put in there but it is so thick it's isn't it? It's fabulous though that's what I'm yeah. saying it's like it's a good read it's what you want. It's a good read there's yeah. all the other st the best of the other books and then all the stuff that's kind of happened to me in the last four or five years because for years people were saying you know how do you manage to do it all? Maureen yeah. you're an actress you're yeah. a mother you're a and I used to think don't say anything because there's a finger up there, the finger, oh, thanks. <laughs> and, yeah. and of course, uh, everybody gets their share, and I got mine. And so, having been writing for years in Good Housekeeping about how good everything was, I still had to make the best of how things were. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, to be widowed is um, a, an extraordinary experience. And it's your experience. It's not yours, it's not mm. yours, it's not theirs. And you can only play it as you, as you, um, as you are, as a human being. And the, the, there's a story in the book about me at a party about four months after Jack died. And, um, and I was telling a story, and around the table. And the story was about a night I'd had in the, uh, uh, an evening, I went for a drink in the Ritz. And coming towards me, was an 89-year-old woman of about four foot nine in a pink beaded cocktail dress with white tights, <laughs> bedroom slippers, a platinum blonde wig, <laughs> and more jewellery than Hatton Gardens have ever seen. And holding her arm was a, a sort of Rasputin-like man, 6'4", in a frock coat, with leather boots with steel round the back, and a long magenta-coloured hair and a moustache, and he was holding her solicitously as they walked along. <laughs> And I just turned to the first person, because I'm like you, I'll talk to anybody, you know. Uh, that's why we're national treasures. <laughs> and, um, and I just turned to the first group of people standing there, and I said, if you hadn't seen that with your own eyes, you wouldn't have believed it, would you? Yeah, yeah. And the man said to me, oh, I'm ever so glad you talked to me, Miss Lippman, because your dad made my D-mob suit in 1945 <laughs> in Hull. And I thought, well, you know, if... If I hadn't said that, yeah. if I hadn't, I would never have met. And he said, oh, I wore it for years. It was marvellous. Oh. <laughs> but, but how strange, in the Ritz of all places. And, and that, that story should in come In the Ritz. Up. Yeah. And of course, yeah. uh, you know, and then, uh, just as you must find, having, once you've got a face that people, and if you're the sort of person who's accessible anyway, once you've got a face, then everything happens, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. People yeah. insult you, they think they're being nice to you, and they come up and tell you you look, you look worse on television than you <laughs> oh, do yeah. in real yeah. life. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, it's, and, you know, then I, I, I went the other day uh, with my daughter to St. John's Wood, and with the dog, I've got the little Basenji dog now, and, uh, and um, I said, just walk the dog while I get some food. I got the food and I came back and said, did you walk that? Yes, she said she did a poo right outside the place where all the people are sitting in the restaurant. Well, this is St. John's Wood, which is, you know, kind of quite a Jewish area. So I didn't think about it, so I said, okay, okay, I'll get it. And we got back in the car and we drove around the corner. Now you're sitting outside a cafe, right? And Amy said to me, aren't you going to take the dog? And I thought, what a funny thing to say. <laughs> I took a plastic bag on my hand, right? You're sitting in a cafe. Maureen Lippman gets out of the car, walks across the road, uh, picks up oh. a lump of food, and gets back in the car and drives off. <laughs> <laughs> what did they think, these people? Do you think? Well, did I have you, no idea what they yeah, thought. But they I mean, probably said she's lost it, Maureen. <laughs> yeah, she's just pulled up after I picked up a lump of poo. Do you know what happened to me? I was.